This video response is going to go out to Cherry Wallace and is because of a video she uploaded called Reindeer Cake Pops Cherry's Kitchen. Okay, I watched the video and for the most part I actually liked it. It was really, really refreshing to see something that was productive, that was creative. I could go on and on but I don't want to bore you. But I did have a few points I wanted to make on this video. And let, let's go into this, shall we? Uh, now, when I've watched people cook, usually they wear a hairnet, not a tiara. Now, a tiara would be more than appropriate if you were trying to serve the food. But if you're trying to cook it, I would be more comfortable with people wearing a hairnet than a tiara. Just me, but that's the way I feel. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure that this uh, cake pop maker that you were using can actually make donut holes. If you glaze the cake pops, you can actually um, make donut holes out of them. And I'm pretty sure that's how some companies actually do it. Of course, bigger companies probably use big machines, but if you're a small business, you might use something like this. Okay. All right. Now, I noticed the jars in the background, they have various types of food in it. I was just kind of wondering what kind of food they had in the background. Okay. Now, I'm also pretty sure that you could make those cake pops gluten-free. I mean, I, I'm sure you could use rice flour instead of uh, regular wheat or, or uh, cornmeal. You know, well, I suppose you could make cornmeal donut holes if you wanted to. So anyway. Now, there are different variations of dark chocolate. Okay, and this is based on the word cacao. And cacao refers to dried seeds of an it's it's a South American evergreen tree. Okay, they have evergreen trees in South America, and these seeds they're dried up and they pluck them and they make cacao out of that. And there are various strengths of cacao from uh, thirty percent all the way up to seventy percent. Okay, and you can all look this all up on YouTube. I was kind of wondering when you brought up that milk chocolate bar. Well, it wasn't a milk chocolate. Sorry, it was a dark chocolate bar you brought up. I wonder how much cacao it had in the chocolate bar. You never actually told us. And that could make a big difference in how you make your reindeer pops. Okay. And um, we don't know how much exactly you used. We don't know who manufactured your chocolate. Um, how much you paid for it. You never said any of this which I think would have been very interesting in your video. Okay. Now, you were talking about using, um, I think it was uh, Skittles or, um, no, Smarties. That's what it was, a Smarties. You were using Smarties for the reindeer noses. Um, me, personally, I probably would have used Cinnamon Imperials, but that's just me. Okay. Alrighty. Now, the part I was really disturbed by was when you pulled out that great big knife. I mean, that was a big knife. It wasn't so much the knife that bothered me, it was the way you were handling it. And I, and I will say that there are a lot of kids, a lot of teenagers that watch videos like this. And if I saw a teenage kid, and I actually have a friend of mine who has a teenage kid. And if I saw her handling that knife the way you were handling that knife, I would have probably taken that knife away because that's that's just not a good way to handle a knife like that. Honestly, I, I don't think that was very safe at all. And I would hate for some teenage kid to think that he could just flip around a knife and not get himself hurt. Not a good idea. So that I really did disagree with. But the rest of the video was very nice, okay? Um, now you didn't mention how hot you made the fire in order to make the chocolate melt. You also didn't tell us how you kept that chocolate warm while you kept putting your reindeer pops in the refrigerator. Because there were various stages where you put, you, you did something with the reindeer pop and then you put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes and then you pulled it back out and you did something else and so on and so forth. But you didn't tell us how you kept the uh, chocolate hot while you were putting the reindeer pops back and forth in the fridge. That I felt we needed to know. Okay, did you have some kind of a warmer that you put this on, or did you just keep it on the stove and keep a fire under it? You never said. Okay. 
And that pretty much covers what I was wanting to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. I'd love to hear from you. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.